All right, so we're going to talk about how to create a stroke on a path. And then we're going to convert that stroke into an outline. So first, let's look at our settings. Notice that for my setting, I have white for the fill and black for my stroke. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select my fill. I'm going to click on the fill square so that it goes on the top. And then I'm going to select none. And for my stroke, I'm going to set it up right here at the top. I'm going to go for a big stroke so we can see what we're doing. So I'm going to go to something like 60. I'm going to hit P for the pen tool. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a quick path, something like this. And to get out of the path tool, I'm going to either hold the letter A, which will give me the direct selection tool, or hold the command key on a Mac, control on a PC and I will access that direct selection tool and I can click on the background. Now notice that I have a stroke here and this path is what determines the stroke. If I want to convert this stroke into an outline, we're gonna go to object, path, and we're gonna select outline stroke. As soon as we do that, now our stroke is an outline. Notice that if I zoom in, I have these live corners that I can turn into circles and so on. And I can also preview this outline by going to Windows Outline. And this will make it clearer that this stroke was converted into an outline. Now we can combine multiple outlines. If I was to, for example, select this path right here and I go to Edit, Copy, and then I'm gonna paste it in place it looks like nothing has happened, That, but if I open my layers, let me move my layers right here, and let me make my icon bigger by going to the options for the layers, and then go to panel options, and then under other, type in 100. If I open this layer and look at the sub layers, notice that my copy went on top. So I'm gonna get out of outline real quick by going to Apple Y or going to view either GPU or preview on CPU. I'm going to select this layer right here, and I'm going to select the selection tool, which is the letter V. And I'm going to flip this by going right mouse button, transform, reflect, and I'm going to reflect vertically. And I'm going to move this curve right to the side. And what I'm gonna do next, I'm going to join these two paths right here, these two outlines. I'm going to zoom in right here, and I'm going to go back to the outline. And notice that we have two outlines right here. I'm going to select the pen tool again, and I'm going to hold the command key or the control key on a PC. If you happen to get the selection tool instead of the direct selection tool, which is a white arrow, this is an easy fix. Hold the letter A, click somewhere on the canvas, and now when I hold the letter P, for the pen tool and I hold down the command or the control on a PC, I get the direct selection tool. Now, I cannot join these two outlines right here because these outlines are closed. So what I have to do, I have to, I have to delete these two paths. I did a click and drag. And now what I can do is I can zoom in and if I click from one end to another end, I close my curve. I can do the same thing right here. I can go from this end to this end, and now my icon will have a little circle on the bottom right. That means that I'm going to close this open outline, and this is how we convert strokes to outlines, and then how we can join multiple outlines together.